For today's conversation about heroes and heroism, we chose the image Boy Reading Adventure Stories, which Rockwell completed in 1923 when he was just 29 years old. You might wonder, why did we choose this painting? Well, um, reading is a way to explore and learn new things. And we believe it is a heroic action to learn about heroes from history and the current times. There's so much to learn as we stay close to home. Uh, with that, my friend Stephanie has some really neat things to notice about this image. Stephanie? Well, I'm wondering how many of you out there like to read because clearly this boy is having a really wonderful time with his books. Uh, he is with his patient dog who's taking a little nap uh, and he's wearing his cozy slippers and he's reading a story about a heroic knight that literally springs right from the pages of the book. He has lots more books to look forward to and is settled in for a long reading session. Um, and if you notice, he even has a little snack in his hand, uh, which may have come out of the box. Eating while reading in 1923 would have really been frowned upon. Um, and it would be considered kind of indulgent. Um, and there would have been a lot of concern about getting the books a little bit dirty. But this boy is so engrossed uh, in the story that he's reading that he doesn't even think about that. As a boy, Norman Rockwell would listen to the classic stories that were read out loud after dinner by his father. And as his father was reading, he would try to imagine what the main characters and especially the heroes looked like, and he would try to draw them. And listening to great stories was one of the things that inspired Norman Rockwell to become an illustrator. In fact, he said, for me, the story is the first thing and the last thing. Uh, Mary, do you want to mention some fun facts about this painting? I would love to mention some fun facts. Um, a really neat fact about this painting is the boy is reading about knights and castles. And Rockwell gives us a clue that he's so involved in the story and he's so engrossed that he actually is the knight in his own imagination. And the clue that Rockwell gives us is the cowlick in the boy's hair. Have you ever heard of a part of your hair sticking up in the back of your head being the clue that you are the knight? Well, that's what Rockwell is suggesting um, with the cowlick and the hair that is out of place on this boy's head. The boy's cowlick connects him to himself as a knight with a helmet and a feather plume. And that is just so cool. So today, what we'd like to invite is that you find or create a cozy place to read in your own house and that you read about a hero. And we're wondering, what did you learn from that hero? And, um, and how will you try to be more like that hero? And finally, we'd love for you to share uh, what you learn with a friend and also draw from your own imagination, um, a hero from one of your favorite books. And we'd love to see your images when you're done. And we hope you have a really wonderful day.